friends, welcome back to our channel. So today I thought I would do a quick little reading. What I'm reading from today is the fairy, can you see that? Fairy Tarot um, cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine, and then an oracle deck from Threads of Fate, the Rose Edition. I really like this deck, this is newish to me, but it's, I don't know, they just, so vibey, so vibey and so good. So I shuffled and I pulled the cards already. I actually already did a whole reading, but uh, my camera was recording, but doesn't I can't find the footage. So here we are again. I pulled the first card from Fairy Oracle, Fairy Tarot, Oracle, Fairy Tarot. So the first card, Five of Autumn. This is reach out to others for assistance, poor timing for a career change, feeling challenged by money issues. So this right off the bat energy feels very, it feels very stuck energy to me. Um, maybe, I mean, and it makes sense. I asked for messages for the collective. It makes sense. A lot of us right now are living through this global, all of us are living through a global pandemic. Um, some of us have lost jobs. Some of us are in between jobs. Some of us are trying to find jobs. Um, not feeling like you, feeling like you're alone in the world. Um, this to me says you're not alone. This energy reads sticky because that's where we all are, but you're never ever alone. Perhaps you have family members or loved ones around you that are willing to offer assistance and help for you. Um, this also to me says pray, right? Connect with your inner self, divine source, universe, God, whatever word you want to use. Pray and we ask for assistance through prayer. Prayer works. Prayer is magical. Prayer connects you to the divine source energy that carries us all through life. Um, you're not ever alone though. See this little angel boy? This little angel boy is reaching out to help. So this feels stuck right now. It can feel a lot of ways. It's important to feel your feelings, all of them. We're not supposed to be just happy all the time or just sad. Feel all of your feelings. Let them wash over you. Don't allow yourself to get stuck in the feelings for too long, and then just let them like let them go away. This card, get wild. I love this card. So this card to me is like con get wild. Go go out in nature, connecting to your inner wild, connecting to the inner child. Um, to me, this says once we connect to the inner child, our inner wild, to nature we start to free up this stuck energy that we're feeling. We start to free up that stuck energy. We connect back to ourselves. We have everything we ever would need to know already living inside of us. Sometimes we need other people to bring it out, other places, other things, experiences. But when we get really quiet or we go out in nature or we're allowing ourselves to connect back to ourselves, you can hear the magic that's in the universe. So even though things feel stuck and funky and sludgy right now, when we focus on ourselves, come back to ourselves, um, start to dismantle the habits and behaviors that we've learned from society of constantly having to hustle and constantly having to grind. When we get back to ourselves, we start to free up this stuck energy. We get help from ourselves, we get help from our guides, we get help from our ancestors in spirit, source energy from God, whatever word you wanna use, we will find the help that we need over here. And also, we're never alone, right? We're never alone. So even if you feel alone on the physical plane, know that in spirit, you have angels, you have guides, you have God, you have goddess energy, you have all these spiritual beings, energetic spiritual beings looking out for you. Connect back to yourself. That's where the magic is. Last card. Prince of Autumn. So this could be you, dependable, protective, chivalrous, or humorous. But this also says cautious but wise action, meticulous attention to detail, kindness to others. So for me this reads, once we connect back to ourselves, our, our inner wild, our inner child, connecting with nature, we start to free up this stuck energy. When we free up this stuck energy, all these creative ideas, all these creative outlets, these doors start to energetically open up for you and there, start, there is movement forward. There, 
is action taken. It's slow action. You're building upon something, but it's action nonetheless. And you're paying attention to detail. You're making wise and strategic moves that will help benefit you and your family and future generations. And as you're going through your journey, practice kindness for yourself first and foremost. So honor what you're feeling in this space. Honor all the emotions that come with it. Start to count your blessings for the things you do have. Take it back to the simple, right? You woke up this morning, that's a blessing. You have fresh water to drink, that is a blessing. You have a device to watch this video on, that is a blessing, right? Connect back to yourself, and then once you do this work, this inner work of connecting back to your inner wild and your inner child, you free up more energy and you start to make moves. Perhaps this is somebody, for somebody who has a birthday in fall, um, the moves that you're making and planting here could start to transpire and come to fruition by next fall maybe. This could just even be about you being dependable, dependable protective, chivalrous, and humorous. Find humor in this situation to help you bring you through the step space, to connect back to your inner self, and then you make the moves. So I understand, honor where you are. The energy right now is funky for our, oh, so many of us, but it starts to energetically release, which is such an awesome blessing. So count your blessings for that. You are exactly where you need to be right now in this given moment in time. You are magical and just keep doing the damn thing, waking up each day and honoring yourself, honoring who you are and loving yourself fiercely. I hope this helped you guys in some way, shape, or form. Let me know in the comments down below if it resonated with you, if, if it's helping you, or if it's helped you at all. Please share this with somebody who could need any help or any guidance or any messages of love and light. And also, make sure you are commenting, liking, and subscribing. It really helps to grow our community, helps to grow our channel. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!